Hello, hello, whoever's out there. I don't know if... Um, I hope the sound's okay. Uh, I don't want to do YouTube, you see. It's kind of like one of my first forays into... Uh, this is my second time twitching. I normally do... Um, yeah, YouTube, as I said. So I'm used to talking over videos. And it's quite weird, kind of broadcasting, but not saying anything. <laughs> but I hope, I hope the sound's okay anyway. <clears throat> Bloody red knoll still there. Damn it. Hi mate, thank you. No, this is just, this is just my second stream, so you haven't missed a lot so far. But I'm hoping to uh, to be doing more. Um, yeah, I'm kind of I'm just getting ready for Velius at the moment. I'm, I kind of want. I mean, it's not not. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I hope this uh, shaman's not still here because it's a bit embarrassing. No, he's not. Okay. Okay, see you later, mate. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> five a.m. here. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit early there. No, thanks for thanks for popping in, mate. I'll speak to you again soon. Yeah, it's a bit embarrassing there, pulling those mobs. I was going to there's a kind of high level shaman near the entrance, but he's gone now, which I'm quite glad of. <laughs> That's a bit of a newbie thing to do. Oh, I should have cast Spirit Wolf while I was outside, but there you go. Yes, yeah, so I'll probably put these videos on this video on YouTube because um, you can kind of port it over. So I will kind of commentate over the top. I'm not doing a huge amount, as you can see. I've kind of I'm kind of killing the first three mobs at the entrance, which is okay. I mean, because of the XP bonus, the XP bonus, you know, it's uh, it works out okay. But unfortunately, well, what's he doing there? Unfortunately, there's a red con to me just around the corner, which is a bit of a pain. There you go. I think there's three anyway. I'm sure there's a... What's he doing there? Oh, he's blue. Hang on. So it's, it's, uh, I'm unfamiliar with the spawns at the start here. Um, I know that there's a Roma. Uh, okay, tech, so tech, a Tesh Mass, or whatever it's called. Uh, they're a bit higher level. Uh, I think I was killing these guys outside, actually. It's, uh, I bet he's not there. No, he's not. He's a... Uh, uh, he's a figment of my imagination. He should be that guy there. But he's there. Okay, well, that's obviously a bit of a bit of an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait for the uh, the Roma. Yeah, so I've got these. See, I've got these two here. Okay, I've got these three mobs here. Not very interesting, I know, but what can you do? Maybe a group will start up here later. Who's in the zone? Just me. I think that's the thing with poor. Uh, it seems to be like a pretty good zone, really, for um, um, for XP bonuses and stuff. It's always seems to be pretty quiet, but it's just me here at the moment, so yeah. I won't keep talking. <laughs> I know that. Uh, Twitch kind of audience, a bit, a bit different from YouTube. I'm not sure if you're kind of used to people. Well, there's only, there's only one other person watching at the moment, but I'm not sure if you're kind of used to people commentating on Twitch too much. I'm not sure.
this mob here looks like um, uh, the male there looks like he's dual wielding I'm not sure if mobs the mob spawn dual wielding particularly at this level I'm not 100% sure I wonder if uh, if an enchanter has used him as a uh, <laughs> commentating is not out of the norm on um, Twitch thanks for that mate I'm, I'm not sure that there's Twitch etiquette I'm, this is a, this is my second stream I'm used to just waffling on YouTube as you know but yeah I mean it's quite good that I kind of want to move these these videos over to YouTube so yeah it's uh I don't want them to be just completely silent but I don't go over the top yeah I mean I think this knoll here has got a couple of uh, got a couple of weapons I don't know if they spawn dual wielding so maybe a an enchanter has used him as a pet So JJ Kalani, who are you on YouTube? Would I, have I spoken to you before? Would I know your name on YouTube? I'm assuming you play on P99. It's weird, there's always that, I kind of haven't got used to the delay yet, you know, when someone puts something up and I talk and there's like a delay before you, you hear the, uh, yeah, <laughs> you hear the reply, it's, it's weird. I'm sure there's a Roma here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the delay is really weird. I'm, I'm still not quite used to it. I know there's an option. Um, there's a, like a beta option in Twitch that uh, oh, it feels so sluggish when your Spirit Wolf runs out. I should just run out and re reapply, really. I'm near the entrance, so yeah. I mean, it's, I think there's not there's a beta option in um, uh, on Twitch that lowers the delay. And I'm sure my PC can handle it, but I haven't kind of switched it on. Oh, the Stein videos, yeah. <laughs> I got pulled up on those for um, for saying Steen instead of Stein, you know. And, uh, being English, you kind of you always you always want to get the pronunciations right, you know. But I think that was one that I uh, yeah got wrong. <laughs> But I think I mean when people say that um, EverQuest, uh, the quest part is a bit of a, it's a bit weird, a bit, bit of a bit of a strange kind of like a oxymoron. I'm not sure if that's kind of quite the, quite the right word, but yeah, because there's not much questing. But there are, but surprisingly, there are loads of quests in EverQuest, um, and you don't really. I think I think because of the knowledge we've got now in the Wikipedia, you don't really realise how many there are. I mean, back in the day, I didn't. You know, I, I really didn't realise. I mean, I don't even think I bothered much with class quests, to be honest. Because I just didn't think they were worth it. So, yeah, it's weird. You don't, um, you don't realise how many quests there are. And they're good as well. I mean, there's a lot of travelling involved. And that, I know some people, you know, may find that. Particularly people who play sort of, you know, more sort of contemporary MMOs may find that quite frustrating. But... But it's the, 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 I think the, the quests were designed to send you all over the world, so you see different areas, and I think I think they succeed there really well. Yeah, the quests are great. I mean, I I, I know sort of back in the day they used to get. I'm not sure, as I said because of the knowledge you've got now, they're probably not so much now. But I know back in the day they used to get a pretty bad rap. Um, and I know, even like myself, a lot of people just didn't bother doing them, but they're interesting. I think, I think, as I said, I think the travelling is the yeah, the journey. You're right. I mean, it's the travelling is the fun part. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm planning on carrying on doing the totemic quests for uh, for um, uh, for the shaman and finish those off. And, and they're great because they, they send you different dungeons and different continents and stuff. Yeah, and it's uh, now where the hell is this? Uh, where is this Roma? I'm sure there's a Roma. I mean, I'm one of those. I'm one of those people who I'll quite happily sit here and just wait for these two mobs to spawn, <laughs> even though they're, uh, you know, dungeon spawning is quite slow. But just for entertainment value, <laughs> we need a bit more going on. Did you play back in the day then, or is is this kind of is this your first ever Quest Classic experience? Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, so I'm quite envious then because you've you've essentially got like a huge uh, yeah, you've got loads of stuff ahead of you. It's one of those things where I always say it's um I'm quite envious of people who experience something for the first time that you've experienced a long time ago. You know, it's uh I mean I was by no means um I was by no means um a like Uber back in the day playing EverQuest, not not even close to it, but but yeah, I do kind of envy some of the some of the if you've only played up to thirty, yeah, it's gonna be if you carry on that is it's gonna be good. Oh well I have my arm the arms folded there. <laughs> cash, I was well well cash. I'm sure I've said this before, but slow on the shaman is just so overpowered, it's just crazy. I mean I'm kind of Looking at the damage I'm taking, I'm assuming that these gnolls are only kind of probably just blue, maybe, to me at level 30. Um, what, are they, what, what are they hitting for? 30, 32. Uh, yeah, not hitting a lot. <laughs> not hitting for a lot. The masses are a much higher level, they're just below me. Uh, I'm not sure you pronounce that. Is that the Tef Mass? I'm assuming it's a silent L. Not sure. Yeah, but slow on the shame is so overpowered. I mean, I'm only using walking sleep still at the moment, and the amount of damage it kind of cuts out um, is pretty awesome. Yeah, chanters are super great, aren't they? I mean, I used to watch... Um, I used to religiously watch... Uh, there was a chanter who... There was a chan 60 chanter who used to stream. Uh, he doesn't do it anymore. Not that I've seen, anyway. I can't remember his name. That's embarrassing. But yeah, he used to he used to stream quite a lot, and he's enchanted. He, he was amazing at playing the enchanter. He used to run around to sort of all the highest level dungeons, kind of soloing, uh, and watching him navigate the dungeons with various spells was just awesome. You know, I mean, he was amazing. He used to go in dungeons that other characters wouldn't even consider going into, and run around with kind of impunity mostly, and uh, yeah, and just just check up all the names to see if they were carrying a certain weapon and whatnot. That was uh, that was always awesome to watch. Yeah, chanters are uber, aren't they? Awesome. I've got one that's about level 30, but I kind of... Um, if you watch some of the videos, you'll know that I'm a, I have a bit of trouble with altitis, but um, I love just love the shamans, and so maybe one day, if I ever, if I ever get a shaman to 60. <laughs> Red Jams, I've watched him, yeah, no, this was quite a while back. He was... Uh, uh, I can't, remember, I can't remember the guy's name. I think he had a 60 warrior as well. I think he was kind of regarded as, uh, you know, one of the top, in, top enchanters on the server. Uh, what was his name? Not Lorien. Not Lorien. Was it Lorien? I can't remember. But yeah, I think that's the that's his, the, the the fun part of the chanter is the fact that you can kind of explore and do lots of different things. I mean, I could probably do that a bit here, but uh, I don't really have the toolbox in the Enchanter to be, to be doing that kind of thing. I've got Invis, so, you know. Who knew? Yeah, I mean, I, I know sort of, sort of from being around sort of 30 myself, you, you said you, I'm not sure what level you said you was. Um, yeah, but that's, that's, I mean, but this guy, yeah, he used to run around dungeons pretty much, not invincible, because EverQuest is that sort of game where, you know, at any moment you could get splatted dead, but, um, yeah, but he used to run around sort of uh, dungeons with, uh, if not invincible, then yeah, it used to make things. Most things make it, it makes the game look very easy. Twenty-five at the moment. Oh, okay, so you're coming up to clarity soon. That's a big, big step. <laughs> Hope you're ready for all those tails. Oh, 
I apologise for my um, mechanical keyboard. If you can hear it clicking. Yeah, see you later, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Digital man. Hi, mate. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, I've... Uh, Things have picked up actually. I've had a pretty good couple of weeks. Um, I think you kind of, um, you know, I think you kind of, I kind of overdo it a bit when uh, when things are going well health wise. But yeah, it's been a good couple of weeks. So uh, we're playing The Witcher Three though, you see. So I haven't really done any EverQuest at all. But I'm I'm kind of just preparing for Velius now, really. anyone joining this guy isn't actually there he should be over there <laughs> I tried to um, I tried to do a trick I tried to I rooted this guy and I tried to pull this guy around and then route him at the entrance and see if I could zone out and zone back in again and this guy would still be there while kind of you know breaking aggro with this guy but that didn't work and now I've, now I've come so, so when I zone back in um, yeah the mat is stuck there except he's not really there <laughs> Glani, I know you've gone, but if you watch this video back on YouTube, you're an enchanter. Don't do this. Don't leave red mobs up with dual wield when you finish with them, because that's bloody annoying. I'm assuming that's what's happened. If anyone could correct me on that, and maybe uh, maybe mobs do um, maybe mobs do spawn dual wielding. I can't remember. I don't know. I'll never get up that high. <laughs> Have a little quiz for people in the stream. Does anyone know what the? <laughs> does anyone know? Does anyone know what the um, the title of my stream is is from? I don't like to. You've got any old any old sort of uh, any old sort of goths out there from the eighties? You might. You might know it. Oh, look at look at that! See, this is like uh, this will go on YouTube, so more people will see it. But um, yeah, that's the kind of sort of a crazy thing that happens on uh, uh, on pre ninety nine. People just say, "I've got this. <laughs> Do you want it?" <laughs> you know, <laughs> amazing.
Okay, so a bit more action. Here we go. Oh! Ah, what a, what a noob. God damn it, Bob. I didn't realise that the other guy spawned... Uh, ugh, the other guy spawns first. <laughs> so I was kind of looking the wrong way. <laughs> it's a bit stupid. But I think we should be alright. <clears throat> Shamans are supposed to be all conquering after all. These mobs are the, per the, the perfect mobs, aren't they? They're not casters. <clears throat> They're in a dungeon, so you've got um, so you've got a bit of um, what should we say? A bit of XP bonus, uh, and they're just about the right coloured blue. <laughs> they're uh, they're low enough as, as to not be a not be a bother, um, but you still get good XP from them because they're in a dungeon. Almost are perfect, I would say. This guy must be a bit higher, he's given me a good old uh, a bit of a pasting in comparison to the other, the other ones. No you don't, you stay there. Oi! God damn, there we are. I noticed that I was killing a, a knoll outside recently and, um, I say recently, before I came here, and I noticed that Root seems to be a bit, a bit less reliable than it was. I'm not sure if that's a change. I'm just not picking up this stuff. I'm, I'm overweight enough as it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I've got. I mean, I'm in a sort of. A, I'm in a hell level. It's the first hell level. You know, it's not not super super bad this one, but uh, I've gained quite a bit of experience while I've been in here. So, you know, even though I want to kill in a few mobs, that XP bonus does does make a difference. He hasn't reset that guy. What if you wanted to pull him? What would you do? You highlight him there, um, and then cast a spell because he should be over there. I don't know. I've just refreshed uh, Twitch. It was um, yeah, it's kind of lagging a bit for some reason. I'm not sure if any messages were coming through, but I was having some trouble with Twitch. So if I didn't respond, then I do apologise.
you ever know the spawn time of dungeons? I'm guessing it's about 18 minutes, uh, roughly. Still only me here, little old me. I guess that's not unusual though, it is, it's not prime time. By any stretch of the imagination. How many people are on the server? Um, 448. <laughs> that's when I play, I'm playing when it's at its lowest, uh, lowest point. What I do, just to just to do something really while I'm waiting for a mob, is I'll run through my kit. Now this might seem like I've got quite a lot of kit, and I guess I have, but um, th this kit has kind of moved between, this is the third different shaman, <laughs> so it's kind of just been, um, just been collected over a period of time really, so it's not, it's not sort of, it's not sort of stuff that I've, I don't have a super high level character and I've twinked him out with stuff, you know, it's just stuff I've, I've picked up. I've got a couple of forest loops, now I've got those myself, which I was really proud of. Plus three whiz. Took ages. Took hundreds of giants to get those. Um, I've got a totemic helm, which I quested myself. A uh, little plug of videos for that on YouTube, if you want to see them. <laughs> that was a that was a pain in the ass, particularly the um, particularly the. I'm sorry, I'm just waffling now because I don't know what else to do at the moment. I'm waiting for a mob. <laughs> I'm just not used to Twitch yet. You see, uh, I feel like I need to be talking. Um, yeah, totemic helm plus five whiz. That's great. That is. Um, yeah, I quest that myself, and, and the polar bear um, in the in the little underground river bit was just a nightmare. Waiting for that to spawn. Bloodstone eye patch. That's cheap as chips. I don't know where I got that from. I think someone had given that to me. That's eight whiz whiz three, bone bone collar. That's easy to get. Totemic breastplate. I quested that myself. All the totemic stuff I quested myself. Uh, large banded sleeves. I've got those at the moment because I haven't quested anything else. <laughs> I haven't quested the totemic sleeves, that's why I've got those on. Uh, Mammoth High Cloak. I think I got that myself when I was in... This comes from Permafrost, does it? Or is it a quest? I'm sure one of the mobs in Permafrost dropped that. I got that myself. Tattered Mantle, I bought that from someone. Um, that was cheap. Polish Bone Bracelet I got myself. Chip Bone Bracelet. Uh, a friend gave me that. Um, as a barbarian, I could probably get those myself now because I think those shamans in um, I think the shamans in ugh, West Karana dropped those. Gate okay, scale leggings. I bought now. I bought those. Um, I'd be embarrassed to say. Not embarrassed really, you know. But I do kind of like like to try and get the stuff myself. But I did buy those. Jordan Spone gauntlets. I bought those as well. I don't know why. <laughs> I think because they were she cheap and they were they were shaman, you know. Uh, I mean, deafness I can't cast until level 45 or whatever. Black and iron boots. Um, I got those myself. I'm wearing those essentially because I just haven't got anything better myself so far. Uh, yeah, got a couple of rings, as you can see. Platinum fire wedding rings. And I'm using a, a poison wind sensor, um, which is awesome. I bought that. I got that for about a thousand plow, I think. I think I did well on that. Uh, and the biggest twink item which I've got, and I'm always, always sort of a bit embarrassed about twink items, is I've got I've got a, an FBSS, um, which is a bit strange on a shaman, you might say, but oh, I think it's okay. Um, I think because I kind of like to play kind of like battle shaman, where I hit things, and it's quite useful at the moment. At some point, it's use for the shaman is going to go down and down and down until I'm not hitting things anymore. And I could maybe sell it and what or whatnot. Um, and that's kind of it really, which is not too bad, considering a lot of it I've kind of got or quested myself. Um, I have got Clay Guardian Shield, I bought that because it was just cheap, you know, they're dirt cheap. It's got no wisdom on it, but as but I kind of, like when I was building my, when I was building Bug Rot particularly, I was kind of building, it was like Hit Point Shaman, so I got that. And I've also got um, Howling Harpoon. Um, 
I did buy that as well. And I recently got a bloodstained tunic, which has got a bit of extra whiz. I should probably put that on actually. Uh, yeah, I do like totemic stuff though. I kind of got that for a bit later on when I was doing more mana based stuff, but you know, that's my stuff. <laughs> okay, so I've exhausted that and I still haven't had a spawn. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm quite proud of that going through that. Apart from the FBSS, I kind of a lot of stuff I've got myself. Um, yeah. I need to get that sort of what I was talking to in to ZK about there about the um, and I'm talking to just not really anyone but this will go on YouTube so people will <laughs> hear my waffle but um, uh, yeah I've um, I need to do the uh, I need to get some I need to get me I need to get the epic on one of my shamans because uh, I know the shaman is regarded as a really powerful class I don't play it because of that I play it because of the like the because the theme, the theme of the class, but I do need to get a. I know they're quite um, equipment based later on, and they're quite expensive as well. You know, like a jaundice bone brace, which I quite like to get, is you know, quite expensive. Um, Torpor is an expensive spell. <laughs> I don't know when, when I don't know when I'll ever get that. Uh, but the epic seems to be the most important thing. I just, I just think it allows you to, allows you to root rot. You know much more efficiently because all, you, all you're worrying about is um is root really that's it so yeah but that's but you say that the thing is you say that things are not and i talk about something here that i a lot of people don't we don't consider a lot of people don't talk about with regards to doing twitch and youtube because i think it's a bit i guess people get a bit uncomfortable about talking about talking about it but um you know, you do, when you do, I mean, I've been doing YouTube for quite a long time with regards to Project 1999. Uh, and I would say that, you know, I kind of feel a bit, a bit embarrassed, but I think probably, you know, I guess my channel, along with Level 1 Undercom when he was doing it, you know, it was one of the, the bigger sort of, well, you know, the biggest, the two biggest YouTube channels, I guess, for P99. Um, and that kind of, with that comes with a certain amount of um i'm not going to say personality because i hate that word it's a crap word uh, that comes with a certain amount of i guess exposure you know and i get a lot of people um uh, talk to me in game um and everyone's super awesome but you kind of but also it, it is kind of like it's not what i do why i do it but you know people you get to know people and and people will help you out you know that's the that's the thing, you know, people talk to you and they will help you out. It's like, like ZK there has kind of, you know, said he would help me with the the Epic, which is just amazing, really, because without, I mean, I'm kind of like a solo player, as anyone who kind of watches the videos will know. I'm trying to change that, and I'm hoping to as I, as I get better. But, yeah, but a lot of things I would, I mean, the, the, um, the Epic I would never be able to do on my own uh, without help, you know, and... And I think I think the people on the chat on the server are very helpful anyway. So I'm not saying that just because you do YouTube, you know, people will help you. Um, but certainly, you know, you, you get more exposure, you know, and you get more friendly with people, and people are because people are so helpful, you know, they want to help you out. That's the, that's the thing. But yeah, the epic I would never be able to do on my own. <laughs> but I know that when I get up to that point, and if I ask for help, you know, the people on the server are awesome, and they will. It will help. Well, these guys are super easy and not much of a challenge, but you know, as I said, they're probably the ideal blue cons really because you know, dungeon based, so bo XP bonus, um, and they're easy to kill.
Okay, so I'm not really sure who's going to spawn here, but I need to keep an eye on it so I don't get two. <laughs> I do like hitting things. I mean, I want to play Shaman. I play, as far as, far as I can, I play uh, melee as much as I can until a point where I know with sort of Mugwort, he was, he's level 45. And he was getting to a point where kind of, you know, I think without a, J, without a Jaundice Bone Bracer, I wasn't doing enough uh, kind of, you know, some whacking damage. <laughs> so it was, uh, yeah, so I think uh, sort of melee was becoming a bit less uh, productive, a bit less, um, what would you say, <sighs> efficient, I think is probably the word. I love the pores. Let's, 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 let's soak up the atmosphere a bit of poor here. <coughs> this pet's obviously, he's another one who's not really there, is he? He's just a projection. <laughs> a couple of corpses you always get. Chrome wheels. <laughs> Chrome wheels. <laughs> and who else we got here? Who we got? God damn it. Chrome wheels. And in fact, a corpse, um, if you watch, yeah, you're dead. I love the, like, the paw prints here on the uh, on the wall. They're awesome. Um, he's still he's still still stuck there. And there's a massive paw print painted in blood over there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I think that's what we love about EverQuest. The people who play, or I do anyway. It's like the atmosphere. Um, yeah, I mean, like I, I like the fact that it's hard and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's just the atmosphere of playing. That's that's what it's all about. It's just got it's just something about it. You know, the the art direction. Uh, I knew I knew who did that because I specifically looked to, into it back in the day. Uh, thought the artists, like just the art, the, the, like the mobs, the characters and stuff. I mean, look at the barbarian. I mean, that's just um, while I'm waiting, waiting for mobs again and trying to entertain you, all, all two of us. Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's glory in the in the let's bask in the in the glory of. Uh, Barbarian, look at that, that's awesome. Got some great chops there. Kind of a bit like me, actually. I mean, I've got a full big beard, but uh, yeah, look at that. It's just a character, it's just full of character. And look at look at the um, I mean, I've, I've got a little soft spot for magicians because I really love the pets. I mean, look at that, it's awesome, it's just great design. It looks like he's got a little face on the back, it's difficult to say. Yeah. Uh -huh. I still no one's told me yet what the what, what what my Twitch title comes from. Alice in her party dress. I guess we just haven't got any eighties goths in the uh, in the stream at the moment. If you've got any problems with the stream, let me know because I noticed that on on here I keep um, on my computer and it shouldn't be doing it, but it does keep it does keep um, it does keep what's the word for it? God damn it! <laughs> it does keep buffering. So if, you, if there's any problems with the stream, let me know. I'm doing it at 720p. I could probably easily do it at 1080p, but being as I'm kind of it's my first times, I'm, I'm just uh, yeah.
it's all my spellbook out. So yeah, I wonder, kind of, I guess people like YouTube people mostly, I guess, because that's where most of the viewers will be for this video. Kind of how you lay out your spell books, really. Mine's a bit of a mess at the moment. I normally have my, my spells, my main spells, at the from the front two pages, and then kind of like the next, the next ones, <laughs> the next most popular ones, kind of on the third page, and then I try and then keep it, keep all the spell lines together, if I can. So like my buffs, kind of like um, resists and cures and stuff, healing. Uh, direct damage. Yeah, that's how I do it. we go action stations so we're still on Pavelius it seems thank god for that I was getting a bit worried because it wasn't. I know some some people on the forums were sort of saying, "Oh, Velis is never coming out." Um, but Serkan, in I think in last week's stream, I think Serkan said it's all ready to go, and they could have done it in June. Could have indeed done it. In, uh, did it in June if they needed to. Uh, so yeah, so that's awesome. I love snow. Whenever I play a game, I always seek out the snowy environs. Just love a bit of snow. God damn it, don't call the other one yet. There we go. Yeah, I do I love, love myself a bit of snow, so that's great. I've got one of those already. <clears throat> I'm quite um quite a Velius noob though, really. Um I'm quite, I'm quite an EverQuest noob, <laughs> even though I've been playing for a long time. Um I played back in the day for a long time and uh and I've been on P ninety nine, I guess for a couple of years now maybe, but I never really get myself up to a, a, a high level, you know, I kind of, it gets to a point where I get a bit of a nosebleed. Um, I think because I love, I mean, I do love the low level game so much, you know, it, it's just, it's quicker. Uh, you see more in a, in a sort of a, you know, a shorter space of time, I think, because you, you kind of, um, you move through the leveling areas quicker. And I, but I get to a certain point and I do get a bit of a nosebleed. So I need to overcome that, particularly Vivellius. my luck here. <laughs> That's it. I didn't go too far. Flip or high tunic. Uh, it probably sells for a few plat, but I've just, I'm just overweight at the moment. I've only got like a little traveller's pack. 20% reduction in weight. Um, I'll leave that. I keep meaning to create some little newbie bags and just kind of like as I pick stuff up, just go and... Um, just go and sort of give them to people, you know. Let's, let's, let's create. Yeah, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to create a newbie bag. And I'm going to go back to Kinos and I'm going to look for someone who looks really, really new and just give them a bag of stuff. That'd be cool, won't it? T 
T beware. Thanks, mate. That's brilliant. Um, thanks for watching. It's funny because you kind of brought up a you brought up a topic that I was reading on the forums. Um, uh, all I've been reading on the forums, I should should say, but someone put up why, why don't why don't more people play on P ninety nine? And I think that uh, I think it's pretty healthy actually for an emulated server, um, particularly considering that kind of at the start you do need to. Jump, jump for a few hoops to get it going. I guess you know it's not um, it's not super easy, uh, particularly if you're not not. I guess anyone who wants to play EverQuest is probably going to be fairly tech savvy. So, <laughs> but there is like a barrier. You know, it's not just a simple installation. But there's a. I'm not sure who put the video up. Who put the the, for, the the message up? Someone who's quite big on the forums. I think said, "Why don't enough people, more people play?" And how can you um, promote the game? And I think you just kind of proved proved a point. Really, I think that doing videos and streaming. Is you know if if you if you're you know if you're if you're very grateful that someone's you know running a profit free which I you know it seems to be that's, that's, I'm assuming it is otherwise they'd get shut down um, a profit free kind of way for us to be able to play and a free for us to be able to play EverQuest sort of classic you know and if you can't kind of contribute financially with a donation then yeah uh, do videos because as I said you proved a point you know I. I get a lot of people messaging me saying, you know, your video's got me back into the game. So that's the way to do it. If you want to promote the channel, do a video or do a stream. Because I know that talking, I mean, talking into a microphone, even when you're sitting on your own, it's it's quite difficult. I mean, I, I kind of look back at some of my old videos and um, kind of cringe at how bad they were. But you, you get better as you go along. Um, but you can do Twitch, you know, where you don't have to talk if you don't want to. Just, uh, just play the game. But that's certainly the way to do it, you know, if you want to promote the channel, <clears throat> just do just do something, just do, just do a video and chuck it up. And that'll be it. I find it quite funny though when people kind of message me and say that, like, you know, my video's got, got them back into the game because most of those people now <laughs> are a lot, <laughs> even after two years. Like I think I think ZK actually who's kind of messaged me there. I think he kind of did a similar sort of thing. He kind of spoke to me in game when he was just kind of starting out, and uh, and he's shame and he's now kind of in the fifties I think. So I think that shows how much I uh, procrastinate. Is that the right word? Or how, how how much I've? I mean, anyone who watches the videos for a long time knows I've got a terrible thing with swapping between characters too much. And that does kind of deaden my progress. It brings it to a standstill sometimes. Yeah, but it's funny because people who kind of got back into the game for watching the videos are so now, you know, much higher and a lot more knowledgeable than, <laughs> than I am because I just faff about so much. Right, let's buff up. I would personally call this camp languid, I think. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy, isn't it? It's not, you know. It's a shame that there's a red mob around the corner there because I would probably be leveling a bit quicker than I am. Uh, but that's fine, I'm quite happy to do this. That's all the buffs I need for this level. I suppose I could, being as I'm, being as I'm, I'm whacking things in the face, uh, I could put protect on. I guess. Let's see how much it improves my C's effective anyway, because my weight's too high. Um, let's, let's, try, let's destroy some of this stuff. You know. I'm not a loot whore, I don't need the money. Let's see how much, uh, let's see what Protect adds to my um, 
PC. Thirteen. Well, okay. You know. I think that's all the buffs I need to be using at the moment for what I'm doing. I don't. There's no talismans. I get a talisman at thirty-four. I think. Um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and have a quick look at messages on YouTube because um, I do apologise. I'm terrible at answering messages on YouTube. I get messages all the time for every video and comments and I don't, you know, I should make more effort to um, to not answer them because it's just polite, isn't it? But I, but I don't. Uh, I should do. Let's check out recent messages on videos. I've got a couple of tips on my last Witcher 3 video. And yeah, thanks guys. I do from Johnny and Michael. I do... Uh, I was aware of those two things. Um, EverQuest, my last EverQuest video. Oh, no questions particularly. I think, well, I think a question I remember from a while back was um, if you. Oops. Oh, I think I've crashed. <laughs> 